Hey guys, what is up? Old Wolf BC here. Welcome back to the Quick Guides of FIFA 22. This is episode number 22, which makes it special in itself. But what makes today's video even more special? I'm about to put a bid on Kenny Dalglish mid card. Million one hundred and forty thousand coins. This is pretty funny because the last couple of episodes I've been talking about using a cheaper team, and I'll just put a bid on a card for over a mil. <laughs> if this gets bought now, last second, I'll be devastated. Okay, unless there's some weird glitch that's trolling me. We just got Kenny Dalglish for 1,140,000 coins. Could it be? Notice, thank you for your patience while the team worked through resolving a content issue that was impacting your account. We have granted you the correct content that can be claimed through the FUT store. That's the most generic message I've ever seen. I didn't even mention the foot champs picks or something. If I go into the foot store and there's like a 7.5k pack there or something, Okay, I assume this is my three one of five red player picks for getting rank two in foot champs. Come on. Oh my goodness, it's a Christmas miracle. So I did just open up my foot champs rewards. So if you guys didn't see the video that came out yesterday, I recommend you check that out because in the next few seconds, you're going to be spoiled what I did get. Before I show the team that I have built around Kenny Delglish and my red Luis Suarez. Yes, I did get the red Luis Suarez in case you didn't click off and uh, watch the video. I saw one of my Tonys here. My Chimani uh, for 16,500. I bought him for 10,500, so made like 4k profit there. So I'm a Lewandowski, a couple of DRBs. This one was a left middle and had an engine if you want any white soul for more. And then a Lucas Pequeta. And this is the team that I have built around my Luis Suarez and Kenny Dalglish. I actually made this team before I even had my red player picks. This is just how it starts so that everyone gets chemistry, or everyone will get chemistry once they have loyalty anyway. In game, I switched Kenny Dalglish with Valverde. And uh, I'm also switched Genie and Verratti, so I have some more pace on the outside. And then I also just switched Joe and Gimpembe to have a lefty on the left and a righty on the right. Uh, and that is how I have been playing with this team in Division 4. Um, I have played uh, five games with it, but one of the games disconnected when I was winning. So I have got one loss and three wins and a disconnect loss in the five games so far. And... I'm absolutely loving the midfield. The midfield's incredible. The back four is incredible. Josie Dudek, he does all the hard things really, really well, but there's been a couple things that have kind of concerned me. He's six foot two and he has cautious with crosses. Pretty much all the goals I can see, probably 80 to 90 percent of the goals I can see in FIFA are like 35 yard long shots and crosses. So being six foot two, which is on the shorter side for a goalkeeper, and having caused with the crosses really isn't meta for a goalkeeper. But his actual just shot stopping on regular shots is insane. He saves everything inside the box. Not, you know, 90% of things like most goalkeepers. He saves everything. And there's only two players in this team that I have actual complaints about so far. And it is Kenny Dalglish, who's only got the two goals and one assist in the four games. He actually got a goal in the game of Disconnect. So he's actually got three goals and one assist in the five games. Luis Suarez has been incredible. He also scored in the Disconnect games. He's actually got six goals and one assist in five games. He's been amazing. Really, really enjoying him. And the Memphis Depay hasn't really done anything yet, but that's not too surprising. He's only in there for chemistry, and he's a decent enough card. And now that I feel pretty comfortable with the team, I am going to get into this week's Foot Champs Qualified Tournament, or whatever it's called. And here we go. I have five Champions entries remaining, because obviously we did get into Foot Champs on the first try last week. On to the first game, my opponent doesn't have a very good team, so we definitely have the upper edge there, even if I didn't have Kenny Dalglish. On the 89th minute here, Robbo whips in a beautiful cross to Suarez, and he just heads it wide. On the 119th minute now, uh, his Allison gives it straight to Mario Seaman. He does a good job to get back in position, though. I try to go for the far corner, and he just misses it. So we go to my first penalty shootout of the FIFA. Starts off pretty plain and simple. We both score our first two. We make a save there, though, and then I change last second, I change to go middle there, and we get it saved. He's Gina Van Nelbe goes for a chip and just gets it horribly wrong. Frank Jampong has never let me down in Danish life. He continues that with the goal there, and this is what you get the hero jersey dude for. I don't actually know how to do the, the leg wobble, but that's close enough, and he makes the massive save there because he went right... Uh, I went right, sorry, and my opponent stayed, went down the middle, and he makes the save anyway. Absolutely fantastic goalkeeping by the hero there. And that does give us our first four points of the week. Next opponent here has a fantastic team. It doesn't matter, though, because he gives us the win. With the way that the new foot champs, playoffs, and everything works, with getting points for losses... Uh, I feel like obviously there's going to be a lot. A lot of fantastic players are going to go five and zero, maybe four and one, and then they're going to have at least three or four games every single week to give away. So I think that's going to really help 
make foot champs more accessible, like it has been in the past, because obviously you didn't have to go into a tournament for the last couple FIFAs, so I think that's really good. At first, I was a bit like, ugh, I don't know about all these gifted wins and everything, because it kind of takes away from getting to foot champs, but I definitely like it. Uh, I'm not just saying that because I was gifted a win, by the way. Um, I'm just saying that because when the first week, it's really nice to have the tournament, like, you know, earn again foot champs. But since the tournament, the uh, playoffs every single week, it would get really old having to stress it out every single week um, doing the playoff. But with people gifting wins, it turns it pretty much instead of, you know, needing five wins from nine to needing, like, four wins from nine, maybe, because I think there's a good chance that you'll be gifted at least one win every single uh, playoff. I wasn't gifted any last week, of course, but I think that's different because, you know, people were just getting used to the game and they didn't really... Maybe not everyone understood that you could just give away wins and you'll qualify fine. Really annoying here. My Hakimi just couldn't keep up with his Mertens for some reason. Uh, his screen absolutely murders my uh, Dalglish there and it's absolutely nothing. He's just hilarious refereeing that that's just play on. But thankfully it was because my Kenny Dalglish gets up like a true trooper that he is. And not only does he get up, he actually finishes there to get the seal uh, to put us 3-1 up. And we get the win, which puts us 2-4 and 0, oh, which gives us rank 3. On to the fifth game, my opponent has a ridiculous team. He clearly loves an SBC. He's such a weird team. He's got crazy good SBCs and not a very good team around them. And he does score the own goal there. And we get our second gifted win and, of course, go to 5-0, and oh, which is all the wins that we need to get. Because that puts us to 20 points and we just need four more from four games. I don't want to ruin the stats of my Ghanaian team or my main team, so I'm just going to go into four games with my bronze team and give away some wins. So I've had a couple of people obviously score on goals and then quit against me. So I assume that quitting does give you the uh, point that you need for the loss. I was too scared to try it in the past, but now I've actually seen people do it. I'm assuming I'm going to get the one point for the loss, even though I quit. Yeah, I'm 21 out of 24 now. I'm really struggling to find games these last few days. I thought it was because I was moving up I'm in Division 4 now, and it was taking like 10 minutes to find a game, but even just these games is taking like 4 or 5 minutes each. Royce Clark's not having a good day, is he? <laughs> the goalkeeper. Another loss. Can't catch a break. Oh, I forgot to update the uh, the win-loss there. There we go. We're on a losing streak now. This one only took a couple of minutes to find. So that's the fastest so far. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, Royce Clark. Come on, man. He's too, he's too OP. I'm trying to just pull him out. and Bruh. <laughs> Royce Clark, man. He's a beast. He's taking it closer. He keeps making it hard. Oh, okay. That's actually not that bad of a goal, <laughs> to be fair. And there we go. And our final opponent of the... Uh, wow, Di Natale. Oh, good. We have the kickoff again. This guy probably doesn't actually need the free win with his team, but there we go. So we started well with the five wins on the trot, but uh, we ended pretty badly there with the four losses. But we do get the playoffs rank two, which gives us 30 finals qualifications. It's gone up from last week. I think I got 27 last week or something. A gold players pack and two premium gold players pack. Start up with the gold players pack. These packs are all tradable, of course. I mean, got <laughs> Aguero from a gold players pack. Second time I've packed Aguero this year. Obviously, packing Aguero isn't quite what it used to be, but that's definitely a better pack pool than I was expecting to get. On to the premium gold players packs now. These are obviously just straight up better packs, triple the rares, but I doubt they'll be as good as the uh, first pack was there. And this is Vinicius. Last time I checked, he was actually like worth 9k. I assume he's come down now though, because that was like a few days ago. Alright, all the rares are duplicates. We've got Huang He Chan, should be in form right now. And the second premium gold players pack. I was expecting to make back like maybe 5, 10k from all of this. And we have an 84 I think here. Oh, 83, it is Murata. Uh, so we got, you know, a 10k or so Aguero, like a 7k uh, Vinicius Jr. And then this pack... Uh, wow, okay. So on paper, this team went 5-0 in the Foot Champs playoffs, but one of those was a nil-nil penalty shootout win where I just won, thanks to uh, a typical Jersey Dudek performance in penalties. Two of them were free wins, and then the other two games, I don't remember exactly what they were, but they weren't that convincing. It's just, midfield's really, really solid. Defense is amazing. Uh, really, really impressed by, by Jersey Dudek. But the attack... 
Oh my goodness, it was so bad. I think I'm just missing that, that ball carry. I just didn't feel like I had any dribbling. I was really disappointed by Kenny's dribbling. Uh, Memphis Depay was so clunky. Luis Suarez was an amazing. Like, I have no idea why, but he felt the best on the ball by far. Um, with the engine, obviously, he's got good dribbling, but he's got the worst balance and agility out of the three, so I thought he would feel the worst, but he didn't. Memphis Depay felt way clunkier. And on my previous for Champs team, I just had Roberto Firmino in that central cam position. He didn't get many goals or assists, much like in real life, but it was just so important. You know, he was such a good ball carrier. He almost always found the final pass. He never really had the ball stolen off him on the dribble. I'm going to play some more Division 4 Div Rivals off-camera with this team. And if it doesn't start scoring goals soon, I'm going to uh, go back to the drawing board. Uh, pr I'll probably make... I'll probably just sell Kenny Dalglish. One thing I'm really excited about with this team, some of you may realize this, but a, a Cam Mane, if that inform happens, would work perfectly right here where Kenny Dalglish is. Everyone would still get chemistry. So that is a really interesting thought there. That doesn't fix the Memphis Depay problem, though. That will do it for today's episode of The Road to Glory. Hopefully the Foot Champs playoffs go as smoothly for you guys as it did for me. If you enjoyed this video, please do like, help us out a lot. If you want to see more videos in this series, then please subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.